with a vote of confidence. I look forward to proving you wrong. Mm. Meeting over already? Not if you count the sidebars. I thought you changed your mind about starting a foundation. Uh, so he said, but um, now he's offered to underwrite the gala to benefit the hospital. If the guest of honor includes a prince, complete with a set of crown jewels. Isn't that generous? You're kidding. We'll be raising money that the hospital can use in any way they see fit. I hope you'll come, Meg. The prince is very charming. Even Dusty's on board. Unless you let Barbara talk him out of it. No. Barbara's on board, too. Barbara's on board with what? In lieu of establishing a research fund in your sister's name, Craig has generously offered to underwrite a benefit for the hospital, and we're invited. Have you lost your mind? Paul. The only reason that Craig is involved with anything is so he can keep his fingers in everybody's business. Uh, no, he bows out once it's over. He's never bowed out of anything. Well, that's interesting. Coming from a man who bowed out of an engagement with Emily at the wrong end of a gun. I want no part of this money-making scheme if you're involved. In fact, Craig, if you don't quit this sideshow, I'm going to do everything I can to try and stop it. It's not your decision. This party's going to happen, with or without you. I can't figure out why you did a 180 on this, Dusty. If I didn't know better, I would think you were working with Craig just to get back at me. No, I don't give a damn about you. Could we have a moment here, please? Listen to me, OK? Dusty's not going to give Craig an inch. He'll be all over him. There's no way that Craig is going to be involved in any decisions concerning the money. You sure about that? Absolutely. I hope you're right. What did your mother say? She's still in shock. I'm going to find Will and I'll make sure he's OK. Uh, do you want me to come with you? Always. Oh, hey, me favor. Lisa was not in her office. Can you give this to her? It's a, an invitation to her grandson's Halloween parade. You got it. Thank you. She doesn't know. Well, I don't know if it's your job. Maybe you should wait. I can't just pretend nothing's wrong. You know, I can't. I'm busy. Sorry. I've got so many invitations to drop off. I've got my mom and Hal. I yeah, think he's due back any day, so... House. He goes to Why I need Daniel's to talk parade. To you. About what? Can we sit down? <laughs> no! No, not Hal! <laughs> not my Hal! He wouldn't do that! He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't leave me. Emily. He wouldn't leave me. No, he wouldn't leave me. Oh, God. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he loved me. You know, sometimes I think he's the only man who ever really loved me. He loved you, too, so just go. Barbara is going to need right. you there. I, uh, I gotta go if you're okay. Oh, please don't go because of Paul. No, I'm not, I'm not. I promise. I'll be back. I'm glad you came.
Did uh, anyone call Adam or Nikki? I think Margo's trying to reach them. I used to joke about Hal having more kids than a rock star. <laughs> That's true. Women loved Hal. <laughs> <laughs>